free mom hugs, building a better world one hug at a time. Your wedding day, it should be the happiest day of your life so far. You and your fiance planned every minute detail. Now you look forward to sharing all your love and the rest of your lives together. You want to shout your joy to the whole world, but your happy, perfect day isn't all that you'd hoped. Someone is missing. Someone whose absence plunges like a bloody dagger into the center of your faintly beating heart. Someone you long to hear say, I love you. I'm proud of you. But she's not there to say those words. She's not there to share this blissful moment with you. Your mother refused to attend because she can't accept that her child is gay. This true life scenario inspired Sarah Cunningham, Oklahoma City resident and founder of Free Mom Hugs to attend same-sex weddings as a loving, accepting, supportive, stand-in mom. This compassionate mission started in 2018 when Sarah posted this message on her social media. Quote, PSA, if you need a mom to attend your same-sex wedding because your biological mom won't, call me. I'm there. I'll be your biggest fan. I'll even bring the bubbles. End quote. The post quickly went viral. Sarah told Molly Spray Reagan of Forbes, quote, That post was made out of frustration. Through my advocacy, I started officiating same-sex weddings. And through that, I started hearing stories about how families were not acknowledging the relationship, refusing to come to the wedding, and seeing the disappointment, the heartbreak from the couples, I made the social media post. End quote. One couple, Tabitha and Marley, who took Sarah up on her offer, were featured in a moving news story by WABC TV in New York City. In it, Tabitha, whose mother would not attend her wedding, says of Sarah, quote, I don't have my blood DNA, Mom but I can still have a mom. Love and acceptance, mostly. She's what everybody deserves to feel." End quote. The same year Sarah posted her message, she founded the nonprofit organization Free Mom Hugs, which has since grown into a national movement with threats sprouting globally. Now, other women and men volunteer as stand-in parents at same-sex weddings. But Sarah faced a long, challenging personal struggle on her way to acceptance. Her son Parker came out to her in 2010, at age 21. As a Christian, she first rejected her son being gay. She said in a New York Times interview with Jenny Locke, quote, Parker had to pretend to be someone else in his own home. It alienated us for a long time. End quote. After a while, Sarah undertook the slow process of changing her mind and her heart. She did it to save her relationship with her son. She went on to say, quote, I found faith-based resources to better understand the history of homosexuality. I met other moms of gay children and met members of the gay community. I thought my son was going to burn in hell. So I needed to reconcile my faith of a loving God with the suggestion that this was an unforgivable sin. The truth is, there is no scripture that condemns homosexuality." End quote. Sarah and her husband attended their first Oklahoma City Pride Festival with Parker in 2014. She said, quote, It was my first interaction with the community and I just fell in love. These are beautiful, spiritual people, and I had been alienated by the concept that homosexuality was wrong. When I saw other people celebrating my son for who he is authentically, it spoke to me. It moved me. It touched me." End quote. The following two years, Sarah's family became more involved in the Pride Festival. In 2015, she came up with the name Free Mom Hugs. She said, quote, I made a homemade button 
with the words, Free Mom Hugs, and pinned it to my sundress. I offered anyone who made eye contact with me a free hug. The very first hug went to a beautiful girl. We embraced and she whispered in my ear, It's been four years since I got a hug from my mom because I'm a lesbian. I must have given hundreds of hugs that day. With each one came a similar story. End quote. The following year, they made a free mom hugs banner and walked in the Pride Festival parade. But free mom hugs is about more than attending Pride Festivals and same-sex weddings. According to its website, free mom hugs is dedicated to educating families, church, and civic leaders, encouraging them to not only affirm the values of the LGBTQ plus community, but celebrate them. It provides support and education opportunities that allow parents to form authentic relationships with their children who identify along the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Sarah said, quote, I missed an entire adolescence of Parker's life because of my fear and ignorance. I'm simply doing things I wish someone else would have done for me when I was trying to figure this out. If I would have had someone like me go to my place of worship and share their story, it would have changed everything." End quote. And to help spread the Free Mom Hugs message, the Lifetime Television Network announced that Jamie Lee Curtis will direct and play Sarah in an upcoming movie based on Sarah's memoir, How We Sleep at Night. The movie's air date is undetermined. I usually close my posts with a question and ask you to respond in the comments section. This time, I encourage you, if you want to volunteer as a standing parent, or if you want to help bridge the gap between parents and their LGBTQ plus kids, reach out to your nearest Free Mom Hugs chapter. Your love can change lives.